Right you guys, today we're going to be fixing 0x800706BA. That's an error message that I got when I was trying to print uh, a document. And uh, also this can be uh, due to a Windows update. So we're going to take a look at some of the steps you can take to try to fix and resolve this issue. So let's go ahead and uh, close that off and go down to the search box here and type in here CMD. Right click on command prompt and run this as administrator. This will open up a command prompt box. And inside here you need to type in this command here. I'll leave all these commands in the video description. Just put them in one at a time and push enter and let that run. Next command is up on the screen. So just uh, copy those in, just copy and paste and push enter. Now the operating system we are running here is Windows 10. And we'll just do another command here. So just copy and paste this one in. I'm going to set that to auto. And one more. We're just going to set that to auto as well. Push enter. And that's your trusted installer. OK, so we're done here now. So we can close off our command prompt and move on to the next stage. Now you can put these next commands in command prompt one at a time, but it's a lot easier to set up a batch file. If you want to do that, you can put them all into a batch file, but these are what we're going to do here. And uh, this is going to allow us to stop those services and then delete uh, the software distribution uh, folder, make it old, and then that will create a new one. So I'm just going to put in here printer underscore fix you can call it uh, windows update fix whatever you want to call it so i'm just going to call it printer fix because obviously i'm using the printer and i'm getting that error message so now we can need to put this somewhere so i'm just going to stick this into the desktop or a folder click on save and now we need to go to that location where we saved it and you should see your batch file here just going to right click and run this as administrator you will see a command prompt box open up on the screen. It will ask you, do you want to uh, run this? Now, the reason why you're seeing uh, the True Vector here, Internet Monitor, this is from Acronis. I've got Acronis 2019 on my system. It's just protecting my system. So I'm saying, yes, you can run that and it will then run. So it's now running uh, those commands. So that should be now completed. We can close that off there. Now what we need to do is go down to the start button, right click on this and open up the PowerShell with admin. And you can type in this command what you're going to see on the screen here. And then just push enter once we've uh, got that entered in. And I'll leave all the commands in the video description for you so you can just copy and paste them. Now we just need to type exit and come out of the PowerShell. Another area I want to go to is I just want to go down to the search box here and type GP edit. Open up the group policy editor. Inside here, I want to go to computer configuration, then administrative templates, then Windows components. And then we want to come down to Windows update and inside the Windows update, look across the right hand side here and configure automatic updates. You want to check inside here. And if you've got this enabled, uh, there may be an issue with updating Windows. So make sure you change that setting. OK, now I'm just going to disable that just so I can get this to work. Also, we're going to go into the settings pane of Windows and inside advanced options here. You can see up the top some settings are managed uh, for your organization. Now this will stop the updates from working when I need them to work. So we need to change this, otherwise you may receive that error message. So just check to make sure that this is not in place. And then we can uh, run those checks. So let me just go ahead and check our Windows updates. Now we've uh, changed those features. Now you can see that a uh, sign is now gone and we can now check for updates. And it should say checking for updates and download uh, updates that we need. Once that is complete, we can then go back to our printer 
and try to uh, run the printer and try to see whether that error message has disappeared. So let's go ahead and try and print a document out. And here we go. I'm just going to print this one out. And this is what I was trying to print earlier on. And we got the error message. So let me click on uh, the print button here. And there you go. The error message is now gone. And it's now printing my document. And that's about it. That's how you can try to resolve your error message, whether you're using a printer or whether it's Windows updates. Check those uh, settings there and you should be back up and running in no time and your error message should be fixed and resolved for you. Anyway, I hope this one's been helpful. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.